All right, hey guys. In this tutorial, we'll be opening up a PDF document with Cami. So I'm currently in Google Classroom right now, my PDF document right here, and I'm gonna click on it. So this is the default PDF viewer, and you can't really edit it. So go to the three dots over here, click open in a new window. All right, great, here it is. Now you're gonna wanna click open with and annotate with Cami. Now you might not have Cami, and if you don't, uh, click on connect more apps and just search for Cami. It's gonna be the first one that pops up, Cami PDF and document annotation. Just click on connect, but I have read it because you know I installed it. All right, go back here and click annotate with Cami. All right, so here we go. This is the Cami editor. Now, here we have lots of different options. You can actually go over here to toggle descriptions and it'll show you exactly what they do. So this is a text box. So you'll likely be using markup, text box, drawing, shapes, and eraser. So I got text box selected and this is my homework for school. So I'm gonna go over here to key because that's the first thing you have to do. So you can click anywhere in the document and if you have text selected, and it'll open up this text editor. So this is great, so I can type anything I want here, da 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 da. And we have lots of different formatting options up here. You can change the font, uh, change the size, make this 12px, here we go, da 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 da. You know, great. So let's actually do the homework. So what would be the outcome of a cross between, okay, wait, I gotta do the key first. So the key, um, I believe, what have I been doing here? So it's been the B's. All right, so BB equals black, BB equals black, and little b, little b equals white. All right, just kind of click off. And by the way, changes are automatically saved. You guys can see up here, check the status. Make sure you're online and it's saved. All right, so a heterozygous black rat and a homozygous black rat. So they're both black rats. Heterozygous means uh, the different ones and homozygous means the same ones. All right, so now I'm gonna zoom on in because these little areas to put the letters are very small. I'm actually gonna make this smaller. Let's go back to 9px. You can move this. You guys can see how the cursor changes. So when the cursor changes, that means you can drag it. So you have to put it in a specific place. So see it's on that blue line. So then we go over here, we're gonna do this small b. And like I said, or maybe I didn't, I'm just clicking with my trackpad and uh, then it starts the text box. All right, great. Just zoom on out. Give it a second. All right, so now we can create a Punnett square for the problem. Now it does actually have stylus support, which is pretty awesome. So if you go over here to drawing, you can select your preferences, but I'm gonna keep it as the default. You can actually just draw anything you want. So here's my little Punnett square. Uh, it's really bad, I'm not much of an artist, so I'm actually gonna delete that. So go over here to eraser, just kind of tap on it. Spam tapping it is the best method <laughs> that I've found. So I don't actually want to use a stylus, you know. Some people might prefer it, but I don't. So I'm actually gonna go over to shapes and I'm gonna select insert rectangle. So you can go here and uh, do what we want. Now, I wanna create a perfect square, because that's an option. So once we have that square selected, you can actually, before you drag down, press shift. And then boom, you got a perfect square. Put it wherever you want. I'm gonna do it like this. And I'm gonna try and position it somewhat accurately. Here we go, it's a much better result than when I was uh, drawing. Go back to the text box. And we're gonna put big B, little b. And then big B, and big B. All right, so this is me, big B, big B. Big B, little B. 
Big B, Big B, and Big B, Little B. All right, perfect. So genotype ratios, so that would be, I believe, no, no, not. Pretty sure we have to say two fourths, we can't. Maybe, maybe we could um, reduce it, I'm not sure. In my teacher's example, she put uh, two fourths for this one. So that would be BB, and then two fourths BB. All right, perfect. And then phenotype ratios, that would be two fourths. I cannot say that, I don't know why. And that would be black. Oh, never mind, that's 100% actually. Never mind, 100% uh, black. All right, there you go. So if you guys did enjoy this tutorial on how to use Kami, uh, make sure to leave a like and uh, comment down below what else you guys want me to cover. If you want ex a full extensive tutorial on Kami, make sure to tell me in the comments. Thanks for watching. Bye.